Good afternoon. This is Ken Shark. If you're new here, welcome to The Family. And if you're returning, thanks for being a part of it. Thank God it's Sunday? Well, you know how it is. Life gets in the way sometimes. I apologize for that delay. So without further ado, let's dive into this week's Triple F video. This week, we are featuring the exotic hand cannon, Ace of Spades. This weapon was passed on to us from none other than Cade 6 himself. And I'm actually quite surprised that I don't hear much about this hand cannon anymore when it has always been one of the best and most consistent hand cannons since its release. But I digress. Let's go ahead and jump into those weapon perks. For its intrinsic trait, we have Memento Mori. Reloading after a kill loads magazine with a few extra damage bullets and also grants radar while aiming down sights. In column one, we have corkscrew rifling, which slightly increases range and stability and also slightly increases handling speed. Next up, we have high caliber rounds. Shots from this weapon knock the target back farther and slightly increases range. In column three, we have firefly. Precision kills with this weapon increase reload speed and cause the target to explode, dealing solar damage to nearby enemies. A lot of times, this perk gets confused with Dragonfly, which are basically the same thing. However, the perk on Ace of Spades Firefly does give that increased reload speed after precision kills. In the final column, we have Smooth Grip. This weapon is slightly easier to hold and aim, slightly increases stability, and slightly increases handling speed. This exotic does have a catalyst. Firefly deals more damage while Memento Mori is active, and also, as always, you are allowed to generate orbs on multi-kills. Now, if you would like to acquire this catalyst, it is a random drop throughout Nightfalls and Strikes, either through killing enemies or through completions. Once you have the catalyst, it will take 500 kills to unlock the upgrade. Alright, if you are like me, in regards to Memento Mori, you are probably wondering how many bullets have that damage buff, and also, what is that damage buff? First question is pretty easy. 6 out of 13 bullets will have increased damage. For the second question, I went ahead and rattled off some headshots on some Fallen. A headshot without Memento Mori was for 5,347, and then a headshot with Memento Mori was for 8,183, which is a 35% increase in damage. FYI, as you noticed in that clip, when Memento Mori is active, you will see the signature blue flames coming off the gun, which out of all the buff indicators in Destiny 2, this is probably the easiest to recognize. And that 35% damage boost is definitely something to write home about. Now, let's talk about this weapon in PvE. Ace of Spades is a 140, so you're going to be firing off pretty quickly. It has some fantastic aim assist, and it also has Firefly. Firefly is awesome because it also gives you that increased reload speed on precision kills. So let me tell you, you are always going to be wanting to get precision kills. It will make reloading a breeze, and you will be able to clear out mobs like they're nothing, especially with the increased damage to Firefly from the Catalyst. This is definitely a viable weapon for PvE, but let's talk about this hand cannon as far as PvP. Ace of Spades has a damn good time to kill of 0.87 seconds. Now, without Memento Mori active, you're looking at 4 body shots to kill, or 3 headshots. But now where this really becomes awesome is when Memento Mori is active, you're looking at a 3 tap to kill as long as you only get 1 headshot. Doesn't get much more forgiving than that, everybody. One headshot and two body shots. They are respawning. One body shot, one headshot, and then one body shot. They are respawning. It doesn't matter, folks. Three taps with one headshot. Now, if you haven't tried out Ace of Spades, I seriously urge you to do so. If you haven't acquired it yet, you will need to own Forsaken, complete the campaign, and once that is done, you will get the Pursuit Cade's Will from the Gunsmith in the Tower. The Pursuit can be a little lengthy, but I promise you, you will not regret it. And with that, I will conclude this week's Triple F video. If you haven't yet, please leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this hand cannon, what you liked about the video, or even what you didn't like about the video. As always, 
please give that like and subscribe button a little tickle tickle until next time fam take care